If you are managing a movie theater and you want to be able to have local advertisements and videos as trailers in your show, then this is how you get that into your, your management system for the, the theater. Now, I couldn't take a tutorial video of the actual program because it was really loud in that room and it didn't have the ability to do that on this server computer. So I just took some, some pictures of what how we get that trailer or your video into your show system and then playing in the theater. So just bear with me with this now. The thing I should tell you is that in order to make the video playable, it needs to be converted from an MP4 or a .mov or .wmv file. Whatever the video file is, it needs to be converted to a dot or a DCP file. Um, actually a DCP folder. DCP stands for a digital cinema package. You can get the program that does this at dcpomatic.com, or you can watch the video on my YouTube channel um, that should have a link below. All right, so when you've converted that uh, video to a DCP, you need to put it onto the USB drive for your server. And then you need to put that server back or that USB drive back into the server. So right now you can see that it's showing this content is on the USB drive. And when you're in the, I don't know what this program is called. It's like Dolby Builder or something like that. So this is what my local theater uses. And in order to have this work, um, first we need to add that content into this system. So we went over to the content button. And then we looked for local content, which means the content that is on the flash drive. And so it's saying it's pulling it from the flash drive. If you had a DVD in there, you could see all these other options. But for right now, it's showing what's on the flash drive. And because we converted it to a DCP correctly, it's showing that file right here. So we selected this file and it should reflect the name of the folder that the DCP created. Um, and so we named this Sans Theater. So you click that file. I keep saying file, but it's actually a folder. But for purposes here, we'll just say file. And then I came over here and hit this um, transfer button. So it goes into the internal drive of the server. So you can see here are all these like Hollywood trailers. And then all of a sudden here is the Sans Theater trailer. Now it's a little bit grayed out because it was still transferring when I took this photo. So the next thing you can do is, let me switch to the next picture is we were over here in local content, then we clicked on copy progress, and this is where you can show um, the progress and how long it's taking. So this was two gigabytes, and by the time we clicked over, it had already finished. So once you know that trailer is finished and it's in your system, then you need to come over here and click on the build. And this is where you actually build your shows. And over here, you can see all the different shows that this theater has built in their either older shows, current shows, or future shows. So this is what's gonna start playing this weekend. So we clicked on this weekend's show and um, you can create a show or copy a show. Um, so since the Spies in Disguise probably had all the transitions and things um, they needed, they copied the show and then just switched out things. So this is where they have like the black screen for three seconds and then they have a policy that lasts for it looks like 35 seconds, 34 seconds. And this is where we actually added our trailer. So how we did that it was we came over here and we looked for trailers and then we found our specific trailer and then dragged it between this policy and before the Hollywood trailers. You kind of want the Hollywood trailers always to precede the feature film. Um, so if you're doing a local trailer or local advertisements, make sure you have those before the Hollywood trailers. So we drag that in there and then it's showing the different time and it has different um, like lights in the house and things like that that are gonna be happening. So um, <clears throat> you may need to adjust these, like this is when the lights dim after the pir anti-piracy policy. So we should have actually had the lights dim before this, or before this trailer started. So you might need to adjust that there. So that's a mistake that we were making when we did the show. So once you have it in the show, this should show up as green and you can click it to save the changes. If you click somewhere else in here, it will give you a warning saying your, your changes haven't been saved, you wanna save them. So just click yes to that. All right, so once you've added it into the show and you could add multiple things, but again, you don't wanna bombard people with like 80 different commercials. So just keep that in mind. 
So let's go back over here. So the last step is we went to control. Now this theater only has one theater because it's a small town. If we had a, a movie theater that had four different ones, we might be going to schedule at this point um, and working on those. But as you can see, it's in theater one, um, which we only have. So you could switch, like if you only wanted this commercial to appear in certain theaters and you have multiple theaters then you can mess with it here. So anyway, we, we were in theater one. Now when we were on here, we didn't see any of this and and you couldn't play or stop or any of that kind of stuff so this was just a blank white area if that happens it just means that it hasn't loaded the show and in order to do that see how it's not on schedule because we just manually do it because again it's just one theater so we went to this little button next to the manual and we clicked that and that brought up the list of the four shows that i show that we showed previously as um being available so we went back over here and clicked that and loaded the Star Wars show. And then this is what came up. So you can see that it's very similar. It's the exact same show that you were building down here. So when you have that show loaded, you can hit play and you're, it's going to have to play through all of this stuff first. And that's how you can test it. Now, let's say you're testing it. It didn't work out quite right. Um, what do you do? Well, you're going to need to stop this and it may do something like it may freeze or it may not play in the right place or you can't go back, etc. If that happens, then just click this button again, load the same show again, and then play it from there. So that's how to get your trailers, your custom content into an actual movie, um, movie show builder in order to have it play in a theater.